Michael Harding has released two new lead tin yellow colours. The first is the lead tin yellow light, which is a pale, lemony, creamy yellow. The second, the lead tin yellow lemon, is, as you would expect, a little stronger and definitely has a more vivid yellow tint. So I'm going to mix them with some other colours and see how they behave, to see if I can figure out what's the difference between the two, other than obviously the value shift, the lead tin yellow light being lighter. So I'm going to start with a little bit of ultramarine, just to see what kind of blue these yellows are going to make. So I'm putting a tiny bit to begin with and then I can add some more as I go. It's making a really lovely, delicate, light green. This is the lead tin yellow light and you can see it's kind of minty green, it's very gentle, um, delicate aqua kind of colour, very pretty green. If I now try the same with the lead tin yellow lemon, you can see immediately as I push it around the palette that it's a stronger yellow in the first place. And as I add the blue to it, it's a stronger green but still quite natural. The yellows are warmer than I expected. I wondered if they would be a little acid, but they're actually, they've got a lovely buttery warmth to them. Um, nice natural colours. So let's try and see how they behave now with some red. I'll try some cadmium red light, very strong colour, so I'm just going to use a tiny amount there, tiny bit, and see what happens. Ooh, that's a really warm peachy pink. Very lovely colour, great for flesh colours. Very helpful for figure and portrait. And the same now with the lead tin yellow lemon. Again, just a tiny bit of that cadmium red will go a long way. And that's giving me a richer orangey peach. A little bit more of the cadmium. Beautiful. Might be useful for flowers this one as well. Getting to be a stronger peach colour. The warmth in them is really lovely. Um, yeah. They've got a sort of glow about them. Really nice colours. If I try a cooler red with that, let's see how it behaves with a little bit of alizarin. I'm going to have a play with Michael's new alizarin claret here. Just again, a tiny bit. These reds are strong. That's really quite similar to the cad red light. I guess it's the warmth in the yellow is just keeping that. keeping that quite rich. You can see there it's it's cooled off a little with the crimson, but not as much as I might have expected. So there's really quite a lot of warmth in this yellow. And finally, I'm going to try it with some amethyst, another of Michael's new colours. Uh, the complement of the yellow. I'm going to try it with a little bit of this beautiful rich purple. You can see just a tiny bit of the amethyst here and see what kind of grey we get with desaturating the yellow. Perhaps a bit too much amethyst there. <laughs> Let's use a bit less. Again it stays warm. Amethyst is a lovely warm colour anyway and it's really retaining that warmth but a lovely flesh tone again. Usually I would use my six colours, which you can see at the top, plus white, and try to create um, light values and natural colours from those six. Um, I can see I might end up quite fond of these lead tin yellows. <laughs> They're a much easier way to create soft, light colours. And they retain that warmth. Often light values will grey, especially if you're using titan titanium white, because it's so cold. Um, light colours often grey out quite a lot. But these are really retaining richness and warmth, they're great. This is the lead tin yellow lemon with some of that amethyst. And you can see a really lovely sensitive mixture of warm lights, which can be something quite difficult to create. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with these yellows.